Now, attorneys representing Johannesburg fire victims are having trouble getting into the burnt Usim Diesel building. They're trying to gather evidence there for the Kampepe inquiry into the fire. City officials have not yet given them access to the building in Marshalltown, where the fire claimed 76 lives. ENCA's Theodore Mashele tells us more. Following discussions with more than 100 occupants of the burnt building, lawyers are searching for more evidence about the August fire. We realized that in order to do justice to our, our clients' versions, it was really important for us to come and give context to their statements. We had not been to the building and there are no photographs of the building from the inside prior to the fire. So coming today um, to the scene of the uh, fire and having the residents with us helps us to contextualize their statements in understanding where they were living in, in the rooms in which floors. The legal team waited hours for officials to take them into the building. Um, arrangements were then made with Director Jacker from the JMPD um, to inspect the building this morning. We were advised that um, the uh, representative from the EMS services would be at, on site with the keys to the building. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. We've been here since 9 o'clock in the morning, and uh, we've it's just been communicated to us that we need to make an official request directly to EMS. Despite this disheartening obstacle, residents of the building continued to share what happened on the night of the fire. We don't know for sure who started the fire, but we want to show them where the fire started and they're going up to the other floors where most people died, especially in uh, the first floor. That's where most people died. According to a trauma specialist, recounting these events could add to survivors' trauma. Even being a survivor can be traumatic for people because they question, why did I survive and why did somebody else die? So we, we need to just be available in some form over a long period of time to accompany people on this journey. The legal team says it will not let up until it's gained entry into the building. Theodore Maschele, Johannesburg.